Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars The Old Republic, the Jedi Knight storyline. Last time we left off, we had just been betrayed by the Twi'lek settlement, who tried to hand us over to Bengal Moore, who has kidnapped Master Orgus and taken him into somewhere called the Forge. But before we go there, we're probably going to do some random side quests. Simply because that's what I feel like doing. And we apparently have mail. And if you remember right, Sogahi took the betrayal rather hard because he's now broken up with the matriarch who was his former girlfriend. She sent us something as basically an I'm sorry. And, uh, yeah, he's now broken up with her, though. They are still friends. You are cleared for the following travel routes. To get close to the place Being safe out there. we want to head to because we've got that one heroic quest. Plus the storyline one that we want to do both of. Another one we can pick up here. Rotten procreating beasts. Badawans will start dying if this keeps up. Oh, that doesn't oh, sound good. Badawan, at least you made it through. I took a speed. The horrents are everywhere lately. Hulking, razor mawed monsters with nasty dispositions. They're multiplying fast and growing bolder. And some in the water since the flesh raiders came. I could use help getting things under control. Okay. The situation seems pretty serious. Not sure how much longer we can keep this camp from being overrun. Eliminating a Horinth matriarch and patriarch will slow the beast's population explosion. But they're tough to find, and even tougher to kill. The matriarchs and patriarchs tend to gravitate in different clearings. You'll have to hunt them down separately, if you're willing to help. I can do that. No problem. You can count on me. Relieved to hear it. While you're out there, removing any of the beast's eggs you spot would help too. It's up to you. Hope you fare well. I'll be here holding down the camp. Okay, then. And that's a non-heroic quest, so it should be easier. in that order, too. And yeah, I know I'm repeatedly checking the map. I'm just bad with directions. There's the mage. Which will 
get us toward the next level of gear. Down you go. And smashing the egg for the bonus, apparently. Two of them down. Exciting. This you could probably imagine. this early in the game are quite handy and give you a nifty experience boost which I'd like to get if at all possible
Yeah, that's another of the things about this game that can get rather annoying. Because it's an MMO... You run into the problem that a lot of the quest objects exist in the world and not just for each individual character who's playing the game. So, after someone interacts with it, you'll have to wait for it to respawn. Which can get irritating. Maybe it will be bad, who knows? I doubt it though. It's about the same level, I imagine.
left of the fork. You know the drill by now.